What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and today I'm opening up a box from the Happy Planner. Y'all know I cannot resist a mystery bag, and a few items were added to the Happy Planner website last week that I just jumped on right away. You know, I'm spending my hard-earned cash so that you don't have to. You can see what is up and decide whether or not any of these items are of interest to you. So I picked up these online exclusive uh, mystery bags. There was a mystery bag, there was a mug, and then there was a micro gift set. And I picked up all three so I could show them to you. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Uh, you probably have already seen these because I'm a bit behind. Or my box actually arrived later than it seemed like other folks did. Still arrived quickly, but some folks got their stuff like, seemed like within 24 hours. So pretty nuts. I'm going to, let me move this box out of the way and just throw, oh, this is so cute. That is really cute. Okay, so we have the notebook and fill paper, the little mini kit, the mystery bag, and the mug. So let's, let's take a look at these. I'm gonna give you some thoughts on the mystery bag before even on opening it. Let's do the mystery bag last. Let's take a look at this mug. I don't have a Happy Planner mug. So when I saw this pop up on the website, I was like, yeah, of course. Um, my husband is working on building us an office in the backyard that's both kind of like an office and then a little bit of a she shed for my filming and, and um, planning. And I thought this would look really cute on a bookshelf, decoratively speaking, uh, in the office. But, ooh, I like the shape of this. I actually would drink out of this. So the cool thing, I know it's uh, such an idea, right? Drinking out of a mug. But you know, some mugs you don't necessarily want to drink out of. You want to put it on display or you want to put like pens in it. This, this, this I would drink out of actually. So now I'm second guessing whether or not I want to put this in my office. But check this out. This is a Happy Planner mug. I should have checked whether or not this stuff was still available on the website. I'm guessing it is. Um, but you've got the cute little Happy Planner discs on it. Nice wide opening. Handle is a good size. I'm a sucker for a good handle. I want to feel like I can like get my fingers in there. It's not the widest handle that I have and I prefer a very wide handle, but this is not a chintzy handle either. It's, it's a nice, yeah, I can fit three fingers in there and I have sausage fingers. So it feels really good in the hands. The colors are vibrant, um, adorable. There it says happy planner on the bottom, microwave and dishwasher safe. We love that. And I like this mug. No, I love this mug. I'm really glad I purchased it. No regrets here. I will link this mug down below if it is still available. So check out the description box. But this is great. And honestly, I like that it doesn't say anything on it, that it just has the discs. Because when someone sees this in my home or in my office, it's going to be one of those, like, if you know, you know, it's like a wink and a nod. Like, if you know what this disc is, you know, we're friends. So I love this mug. Very happy to have purchased it. Yay for item number one. Item number two was just really because I was placing an order anyways. Uh, I... I do have micro notes here and there around my office and I grab it just to kind of like, you know, write some scratch, scratch notes down. I didn't really need this, but because micro notes are hard to find now, they really don't, yeah, have them. I haven't seen them in store very often and I have not seen them on the Happy Planner website unless they're like really old ones um, to see a brand new micro um, set I thought was, yeah, I just couldn't resist. So here is the first one. It says you are capable of amazing things. The discs are clear, but they have glitter in them. Hopefully that's picking up and oh, cute. So we've got colored lines, little stripes on the inside. And then this is dot grid with a little bit of pizzazz down the spine. So I'm going to leave this all all together because I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for if I'm going to re-gift it. 
but cute little micro notes. And then look, a little backup supply of paper of the micro notes. So I really love that this set includes the fill paper to go with the, um, with the micro. And then over here, keep on dreaming, a little bit of gold foil on there. And then it's lined, dotted lined paper, black discs, stars on the back covers. So there's that. And then look, back stock of your fill paper. This is a great set, honestly. I think uh, if you ha maybe have like kids or you know someone that is like a diehard micro fan, you could buy them this gift pack and just give them the whole thing. I think this was $14, $15, I think. Um, or you could split the set in half and give to two different people. So you, you know, can give someone this with their backup paper and then give someone this with their backup paper. So really cute. I like this gift set. Uh, really great for someone who loves the minis already, or excuse me, the micros already and can't find them or is new to the micro and just, you know, needs a little notepad on their desk. Um, really great. So I am happy to have picked this up. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't know if I'm going to gift it or just hold on to it, but um, that's really cute. So happy with that. Now let's talk about the mystery bags. So first and foremost, the bag is, you know, part of what you're getting. So I loved this bag. I haven't seen anything like it from the Happy Planner. And it is a nice canvas, well-made tote with fabric handles. And it says plans are, I'll go this way. Plans are dreams in the making. And it's got the discs and stars on it. Now, so remember to, to calculate the tote bag itself into the cost of the mystery bag. So before I open this up, let me just say, I don't know what's inside and yet I do know what's inside. I don't know what's inside and in that I haven't watched any unboxings, but I don't know, oh, excuse me. I don't know what's inside because I have not watched an unboxing, but I do know what's inside because in general, if you are looking at mystery bags, keep in mind that this is a discounted way to try a lot of Happy Planner products in one go. However, if you are a Happy Planner fanatic, and you have a lot of Happy Planner stuff already, and you're always looking for the newest and latest and greatest, then I don't think these mystery bags are for you unless you like the bag itself or you're looking for some vintage items. Because what I've seen in the past with the mystery bags is this is an opportunity for the Happy Planner to clear out inventory. So these are going to be older products. So don't be upset if you get a mystery bag and it's all old stuff. It's not old used stuff, but it is older products and they're clearing out inventory. And that's why you can get over $100 worth of products or $200 worth of products for, I think this was $39.99, because they're really just putting together grab bags of excess inventory. So I think all of this stuff is going to be older items that we have not seen in a while that they're trying to clear out. Having said that, this is an excellent value for someone who is new to the Happy Planner and that does not have a lot of Happy Planner stuff, and you want to try a variety of things in one go. So having said that, because I know people go, oh, like it's all old stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these mystery bundles are meant to clear out inventory. A lot of companies do this. In fact, most companies do this. If you see mystery bundles, um, they might have one thing to kind of bait you in, like maybe this tote bag, but they're trying to clear out inventory. But again, if, if you haven't seen it or you don't have it, it's new to you. So Enough of the yapping. I just feel like that has to be said because I, I hear a lot of griping with mystery bags and it's like, yeah, but you're getting like a ton of stuff. Now for you, it might not, it might be stuff you already have. And if that's the case, don't buy the mystery bags. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Don't worry. This bag is very heavy. There's a lot of stuff. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm sure a lot of this I have had in the past. Um, or I've seen in the past, but oh, one note about this bag. This print is on the front, is not on the back. So if you're having a day where you don't want to be extra, you could hold this bag, you know, 
towards your, put the side towards your body and then you can just have something neutral. But this is a really great bag. So I'm really happy to have it. Goes with my mug. So love that. Okay, this is a lot of stuff. Now I can already see this is older stuff, but this is great for gifting to new happy planners and I am happy to have it. I will probably put a lot of this stuff in a giveaway uh, for a future giveaway. Um, but actually, some of this stuff I will hold on to and play with myself. So first and foremost, we have classic metal discs. So metal discs retail for 20 bucks. Let's say you find a 50% off coupon, you can get them for 10 bucks. So this, I would say if you found it uh, on sale or clearance, you could probably get these for 10 bucks. This uh, for 10 bucks is already a quarter of the price of the bag. So these are rainbow discs. Let's open these up. And these are fun for, in my opinion, for happy notes. I, I'm not a rainbow disc person for my everyday planner. I wouldn't put this on my planner, but I would put this on a happy notes because they're just so fun and playful. So here they are, they are metal. So we have classic metal rainbow discs. And honestly, Again, a new happy planner person would love to get metal discs. So that is a really great item to gift. You could so easily, if you got this and the mystery bag, could probably split, the, look at all these little stickers that are catching a ride on the micro notes. You could put together a really great starter pack for someone for Christmas with, with these um, items. So we've got the discs and then we have some washi tape. This is definitely older washi tape. My only thing with old washi tape is, will the adhesive still work? That is the question. And in case this mystery bag is still available and you guys really wanna know how this stuff works, let's go ahead and swatch the washi tape. If I can find the end of it. This is black and I'm guessing white striped washi. Here it is. Here is the end. Yep, black and white, rips great. Ooh, and it kind of mimics the uh, stripes on there. So we've got a black and white striped washi. We have some diamond washi, like so. I wonder if this used to be white and it's changed color. So it is kind of like an off, can you tell it's kind of like an off, off white color? Then we have some gold asterisks. And we have some, oh, these are definitely vintage, vintage happy planner here. Um, we've got colorful stripes, kind of ombre looking a little bit. We've got gold polka dots. The adhesive is fine on these. I will probably use this washi tape for, um, probably use this for um, wrapping Christmas presents, like the gold, uh, instead of just regular packing tape or um, just scotch tape. I like this washi. This I would use in my planner. Got some stripes. It rips really well. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good, a good ripping washi. So you've got the stripes. And then the last one looks like confetti or like paint splotches. Let's see how that looks. Yep, confetti paint splotches. So there is the washi tape. I probably wouldn't use this in my planner, but I would use it for wrapping boxes and like envelopes and stuff. So just remember washi tape can be used for all kinds of things around the home. So if you don't particularly like this in the gift set, or in the mystery bag, you can either re-gift it or um, could be used for wrapping various products. Okay, sticky notepads. Oh, I did not previously have this. So I'm curious to see what this is like. So it looks like it is just what it sounds like. So these are sticky notepads. So this can pop into your planner. I happen to have, I've been playing around with getting back into the work plus life planner. 
So I'm just gonna pop this in and see what that looks like. But here it is, you just pop it in and it looks like it fits a mini. So you can put it in a mini, a skinny classic, a classic or a big, just based on the disc punch size. So you can pop it into the front of your planner and then you can just pull this guy off like so. Oh, that did not wanna come off. Oh no, this might be giving us grief. I think this adhesive is a little too, oh, it's a little bit too old, you guys. This might be a bum for me, a bummer. I like the idea of this, but if the adhesive has gone a little wonky, it might be kind of tricky. Um, I could also just try pulling off this one. Let's see how this guy works. I like that they're tabbed, and I like that the patterns change. So here's this one. So you would just be able to add this to your planner like so. You just stick it into your planner and you've got an extra tab here. I don't know about this. I don't know. This might be a bum for me. I like the concept. So side note, lined, lined, graph, and lined. But if the adhesive is giving us grief, that might be tricky to use. So I don't know about this one. I don't know if I can endorse this particular product. Um, but again, we got a big grab bag, so let's keep going. So those were the sticky notepads. That might be, that might just have to be recycled. We shall see. Okay, so the next thing we have, sticker books. These are older sticker books. So we've got, this is back when it was Create 365 from the Happy Planner, and there's no name for the uh, sticker sticker book itself you just go off of the number of pieces in it so this is the 1486 and this this is old school happy planner so for those of you that miss the old school happy planner here you have it so lots of functional stickers checklists to do's lots of to do's bullets hearts washi strips here's some clear quotes washi strips to do boxes i like these header sheets to do's, banners, and clear quotes and paper quotes. So that is the 1486. Then we have, oh, Planner Basics. Oh, you guys, if this had been Planner Basics Mini, I would have freaked out. Okay, so first is Tiny. And did I, it's funny, I think I might have recently purchased the Tiny sticker book. But this is just small icons, which is, will be cute for decorating or cute for using as bullets or um, headers. Oh, these are currently words. Oh, I like those. Emojis, foods, date night, movie night. Ooh, water trackers. Those are cool. I think this is a fun one. Wash day. So if you're doing laundry, we've got planning, crafting, coffee, vino, TV, cute little icons, paydays. I like this sticker book. This is to me very functional and adds a little bit of whimsy if you're just using, um, if you wanna use little icons instead of headers. So I like this one. This is the tiny sticker book. And then the last one is, is Planner Basics. My favorite, one of my favorite Happy Planner sticker books is the Planner Basics Mini because it has all those big numbers in it. This one does not have the, uh, minis in it or excuse me the numbers in it so lots of functional planner basics meaning like everything that you need for just getting started with planning so to do's priorities remember packing list travel info work boxes very functional i think when it comes to these older sticker books uh if you're wondering like how to use them and incorporate them into your existing collection these are, oh, I love, you know, I love the step, step count boxes and the scales. These sticker books are really great for dividing up and putting in the DIY sticker books. I don't do it for the newer books because I really, I like the themes of the newer Happy Planner sticker books. But when it comes to these older ones, if you're trying to figure out how do I use them, I will probably, um, pull these apart and separate them by type and throw them in my DIY sticker books because I'll forget to use these, but like there are stickers in here 
like I think I have an icons or like functional DIY sticker book that these could go in. Um, the step count ones, where are they? The step count and like, oh, I have a food related DIY sticker book. So like the food related icons could come out. These um, fitness related can go in my fitness related DIY sticker book. So these, these are easy to categorize and yeah, functionally are really helpful, but I'm not going to grab these books when I'm planning, right? But I will grab my DIY sticker book. So just an idea, if you have these older sticker books, these might be worth actually pulling apart and putting into different categories. So we've got those three sticker books. Then we have a snap in pen case. I have many many pen cases. This one says, be your own kind of beautiful. But again, if you don't have one, it's new to you and you can use it. But these snap in, let me grab my uh, planner again. Uh, and they just, you can put it on the inside or not with this one because it's got this kind of cover on it, but you could even snap this on the outside of your planner. But here you can see how that kind of fits in there. So we've got our pen case. Let's see what else. What else do we have in here? Oh, I love, love, love half sheet fill paper. And I really like this one. Is this a big? This looks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, this is a classic size fill paper. And it's got the days of the week on it. So it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and dot grid on the back. So let me just show you what that looks like. I really like fill paper like this because it's so easy to just throw into your existing system. So if you don't have, oops, if you do not have any skinny classic fill paper, highly recommend you adding it to your collection. Um, this is really great. If you just need additional planning space, or let's say you have a catch-all planner and you don't have enough room for meal planning, you could throw this into your weekly layout and have your meal planning and maybe your like grocery lists on the back. So really easy to just plug and play with paper like this. So this is a nice element to have. They've come out with various versions of this uh, more recently. But again, if you don't have it, and you've never purchased it, it's new to you, and this is really functional. So I think that's nice that they included that in, um, in the mystery box. All right, this is also old school sticky notes, sticky notepads. So let's open this guy up. Let's see how these are. So this doesn't have, oh, it doesn't have anything to... Um, like attach it to your planner. But if you have one of the newer, um, like deluxe covers, I wonder if I have, do I have one near here? Yes. Okay. So let's say you have one of these newer deluxe covers. These can just pop in like that. Am I in the frame? Can you see what we're doing? We have so much stuff here, but see how this can just kind of slide in. So you've got your little sticky notes. Well, that's cute. I always use sticky notes, so that's an easy thing to incorporate into my existing planner stash. Yeah, those are great. Like that. In fact, I'm just going to throw that in there. So we've got the sticky notes. Actually, no. I'm going to make sure we account for that at the very end. Then we have... I'm taking my sweet time with this. Hope that's all right. I just know when I am looking to purchase something, I like seeing a very thorough flip through. I'd like to feel like I know exactly what I'm getting if I'm putting my whole, my, my cold, hard cash into something. I wanna know exactly what I'm getting. All right, next we have envelopes, plastic envelopes. These are classic size. And let's see what these look like. This is a product the Happy Planner still makes. So, if you are an envelope user, here you go. Maybe you don't have these ones because they are a little bit older. We've got Today Looks Bright. Yay, yay, yay. And then she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And these can just pop into your planner for any 
any reason. You can put receipts, you can put pictures, you can uh, put money, do like a money envelope system. There's any number of things you can do with these envelopes. I don't use envelopes just because I don't take a classic with me on the go, so it doesn't make sense um, for receipts. Although, probably after running errands, I should put them in something like this in my planner because I have been really bad lately about keeping receipts. And I've been buying a lot of baby-related things and then having to go back and return them. So not a bad idea to actually use those. Come on, Elizabeth, get your get your head in the game. Okay, wow, we've got four more items. Next is, and I'm not gonna take this paper. Oh, maybe I should because it looks, it looks different. So this is classic filler paper and it looks like we have four different styles. The pink paper says important and it's lined. The green paper is dot grid and it says you got this at the top. The yellow paper is graph grid, it says notes at the top. And then the blue says list of things I have to do and it's just a massive bulleted to-do list. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. So there's your four types of paper. You can always use fill paper. So we've got a variety pack of colors. Then we have pocket folders. So they don't do this anymore. They don't sell individual pocket folders or um, they don't sell these separately from really planner accessory packs anymore. And it looks like, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six pocket folders. That's a lot. I'm not gonna take these out, but here you can see the different styles. There's pockets on both sides, very colorful, very, Vintage Happy Planner. So for all the people that want the old Happy Planner back, here are your vintage classic pocket folders from the Happy Planner. This one says, life is full of wonderful things. Um, start today, the good stuff, very important stuff, happy mind, happy life. And then what does this one say with the flamingos? I can't see it, so we're going to take it out. We are going to take it out can view all these together. So here is happy mind, happy life. We're awesome. Okay, that's really cute. It says we're awesome. Then we have very, and see how it's double-sided? Double-sided pocket folders. Very important stuff. Start today with a really pretty rose gold. Life is full of wonderful things and the good stuff. So there are your pocket folders. Man, six is generous. You don't want to put six in one planner. So you could probably split. I'm telling you, you get some good deals right now with um, these mystery and specialty gift sets. Plus, uh, whatever's coming during like Black Friday, Cyber Week. And you could put together several planner accessory packs for your friends. You just split this up, you put maybe two per person, and you are good to go. Next, we have a block pad. I love block pads. I don't have this one, I don't think. I have two others, and I do use them. I've got one of them at my office, and I love these because it is gummed up at the top, so it is, you know, all the pages are on each other. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, stuck on each other. But you can pull it off and then because it's punched, you can put it in your planner. So let's say you had a couple weeks where you didn't need a two-page two spread for planning. You just needed a place to brain dump for each day. You could use this for planning, for sure. You could use this as a planner. So with the block pads, the back side is blank. So you've got this on the front and then it's just white paper on the back. So that is a 100 sheet block pad. And then the last item is a vintage, I'm calling it vintage, but a deluxe hardcover. And I have, I think I have one or two of these already because I actually really, I know there's mixed reviews on the original deluxe covers and that is because the plastic here is so stiff and sturdy 
that it can be difficult to move it on and off discs. However, I actually like that. I like how hard and firm these are and they might be some of my favorite Happy Planner covers. So it's an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like this style. If this had pockets, I'd be sold. The other thing with this one, it's got gold uh, polka dots on the front and the back. What I did with my original one is I actually flipped it like this so that I had a solid teal cover, front and back, see that? So I didn't like the gold polka dot, so I just flipped it and used it like this. So what I would recommend with the original deluxe covers like this is put them on discs, metal discs that you know you'll always want those discs to be with this cover and then just leave them. All that you do is change out the guts on the inside. Just leave them on your discs. And that's what I do for, honestly, all of my original, let me grab another one. This is another original hardcover from the Happy Planner with that really stiff um, spine. This has been on these gold metal discs from the time that I purchased this. And it's great. Like, it's here, it's, it's not going anywhere, and then all I do is change out the paper that's in it. So there's a little tip for you because I do believe that the sturdy of the, the sturdiness of this is excellent. I like that it is stiff. You just have to think creatively about how to avoid the one issue with it, which is it is incredibly hard to take off discs. So just don't do it. So little tip for you. Uh, if you get the mystery bundle and you get this deluxe hardcover, these are excellent covers. So I fully, fully recommend... Um, these if you can find them and just stick with the discs that that you want on it okay so that is everything from the kit or from the mystery bundle we have the tote bag itself a deluxe hardcover a block pad folders fill paper envelopes sticky notes fill paper a bag three sticker books the um uh, note tabs, the metal discs, and the washi tape. To me, for $40, this is an excellent value. But it's within the eye of the beholder and whether or not you have a lot of Happy Planner stuff already. This is a really good deal if you can use it or can re-gift it or um, you're building up your Happy Planner collection. So there are my thoughts on the mystery bag. And absolutely... If this mug is still available and you're a Happy Planner fan, get the mug. I will link it down below. I will link this down below if it's still available. And I will link this set down below if it's available. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I know this was a long video to show you some goods, but I hope it helps you make a good decision, a good purchasing de decision. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. We have a good time here. I just love you guys so much. And I uh, just want to just thank you for being here. Until next time, God bless you. God bless you and keep you do something creative today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.